Hey everyone, welcome to part 7 of our multi-part series where we're rebuilding a 1994 EasyGo TXT from the frame up. Today we're going to be installing some lithium batteries from BigBattery.com. I'm Jeff, welcome to Cart Crazy. keeping this a secret for quite a while, but I'm super excited to announce our first channel sponsor, BigBattery.com. Uh, head on over to BigBattery.com and use the promo code STEGI10 and save yourself 10% off your entire order. And if you live outside the state of California, no sales tax, so even better. But uh, I'm going to go through what we've got here. I've got it all unboxed and how we're going to put it in the cart. We'll be up and rolling in this thing in no time. All right, I'm not going to do uh, an unboxing video. Um, I'm pretty sure you all can figure out how to take it out of the package, but what I opted for was the 60 amp hour setup, which is going to be two 30 amp hour batteries. Um, and this setup is really super easy to install. I'll show you everything we've got here. Each battery comes uh, with one of these Anderson plugs, and then everything is going to be centrally located uh, into a bus bar. So we'll put our positive and negative from our controller, and then we'll just um, put each of these onto the bus bar and basically turn the unit on, and you're good to go. So, everything, uh, like I said, everything that we need, we've got the brackets. Um, that'll bolt on the end of the battery so we can bolt that in in any configuration we want. Uh, we've got the Anderson plug for the other battery. A uh, really cool um, battery indicator. You can use the housing that they provide or you can remove it from the housing and cut a hole in your dash which is probably what I'll do. Um, they did uh, supply an extra lead so if you have a limo cart or an extended cart um, you've got the lead in the box so you can go a little farther away from the battery if need be. And then, uh, of course, the charger. So everything we need to install this is right here. And uh, we're going to drop these in the cart. I'll show you what I've got done. So off camera, um, I just kind of was looking at how I wanted to put these in here. And if I just put the batteries in here, you know, you pop the seat open and you're going to see straight to the ground. I don't really care for that. There's about eight different ways you can put these batteries in if you want. Um, but uh, there's no there's no right or wrong way, I guess, is what I'm saying. I actually went uh, and just grabbed some scrap uh, scrap plywood I had laying around and cut these. Um, <clears throat> excuse me to fit down in, and I'm going to set my batteries and my bus bar and everything in there and bolt everything in that way. Like I said, it's just a personal preference. You can do this however you want. So uh, just plywood that I painted black with spray paint, and we'll go ahead and drop our <clears throat> batteries in there. Alright, and there's, again, probably eight different ways you can do this, but this is what I decided to do. Uh, I moved these batteries off to one side. And um, I've got everything mocked in here just uh, temporarily kind of sitting. What I'll do is I'll bolt these brackets to the battery and then I'll drill holes through my plywood and get everything mounted and secure. I've done that on uh, both sides with the brackets. Uh, then we'll take each one of these and I'll separate this out to, so you're not too confused here. I'll pull one off to the side but each one of these are going to plug in to the battery like so and then you just run positive negative, same thing with the other battery, positive, negative, and then we'll take our uh, positive to our controller on the outside, we'll take our negative from our controller on the outside of the bus bar, and then that center one, if we want, we can use that for um, like our voltage reducer, so there's actually an extra stud in there if you need it. So super simple, I'm going to get this thing uh, buttoned up, bolted down, and uh, we'll flip the switch and away we go. Alright, and it's just that simple. Um, got everything wired up to the bus bar. I did end up using the center one. I forgot about the, uh, of course, the charger plug. Um, but not a big deal. If we want to run a uh, power converter or re voltage reducer, uh, we can still use the center one and just add on to that. 
um, my main power, or not my main power, but my uh, power um, for the forward and reverse switch. The cable's pulled real tight here, so I'll have to make a new one for that. But I just wanted to kind of set everything in here just to show you how easy it is. Of course, I'll zip tie and clean this up a little bit. Um, those cables are maybe a little long, and what I might even do is just shorten them. Um, I did get um, a battery crimper now, so I can make my own battery ends. I could just shorten those right up, probably to about a third of what they are, and put new ends on. You might not have that option, so you can just kind of curl them up and zip tie them out of the way. But anyway, let's see if it's going to work. Um, we'll go over here and flip our circuit breakers on. There we go, no smoke so far, so that's good. I did put a new key switch in, you probably saw that in the last episode. Turn our key switch on. Hit the accelerator. Woo! Hello. There it goes. Let's go forward. Uh, I guess I don't have that bolted down all the way yet either. Yes. Perfect. So just like that, we have batteries and we are functional. Turn the key switch off. Make sure I got that wired correctly. Yep, everything is good. So just a matter of drilling some holes through our uh, brackets, through our uh, our bottom board and our frame, put our covers on there, like I said, kind of curl that up, zip tie it, and this thing is operational again, which is awesome. Uh, big thanks to BigBattery.com. Um, they are awesome to work with. Somebody actually answers the phone when you call. I have just had a terrible time with lithiums in the last couple of months. I started doing some research. I found Big Battery, and uh, I couldn't be happier. They are amazing, uh, amazing people to work with. If you have any questions, just call them up. And uh, like I said, a, a real human being answers the phone and uh, gives you great technical advice if you need it. And uh, they build these uh, kind of made to order. Okay, so I ordered this, and then they literally built this setup for me and shipped it out. So, um, yeah, every order is custom built uh, for your needs, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, let me do some buttoning up here, and uh, we'll go for a little test drive. Okay, got a little carried away off camera, and I'll show you what I got done here and what I think I'm going to do for the future. So, got everything bolted down. Um, this is going to be our charging plug-in. I don't have anything cleaned up or zip-tied. All I did with the excess wire is just lay it between these batteries, and that's perfectly fine. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to order some 6-gauge lugs, and I'm actually going to shorten these. I like a real clean look. Uh, again, not necessary. That's just me. That's just personal preference. This will work and function and operate absolutely fine the way it is. But uh, I'll probably get those ordered up. I've got everything bolted in. And then the other idea I had, and I'll show you this with the charger, is <clears throat> I think I'm going to mount this charger uh, as long as it doesn't build up too much heat. Um, I'll probably mount this right in here in this empty spot. Or somewhere down in here and what I'll do is I'll I'll get some um, some ends for this one as well I'm not sure what the gauge is on this one looks like 8 gauge and I'll make some lugs and I'll just go right to my bus bar and basically eliminate this long cable and make an onboard charger um, so this will sit down in here and when you go to charge it pop the seat open plug this in that's all you're gonna have to do so we'll eliminate this big long cord and um, shorten this one up a little bit, mount it down in here like I said. So I think that will work out. Uh, we'll do some experimenting with that and see how warm that charger gets. I may have to build a bracket just to get it up off the plywood a little bit. But anyway, I know I'm rambling here and I know you all are excited to go for a ride with me. So let me grab my cell phone for the speedometer. We'll go out and see what this thing does on the road. Whew, I'm sure that was probably pretty windy. And uh, I forgot, a couple things aren't bolted down, like, uh, you know, the dash, and I don't have the steering wheel bolted on, so, you know, that's fine. It was basically a rolling death trap at that point, and probably looked like the clamp it's going down the road sitting on my piece of plywood. But, I don't know if you saw it, we literally hit 22 miles an hour on a couple different uh, times uh, throughout the test drive, so... 
my goodness, I could not be any happier than that. Um, when I originally got this card, I was hoping for 16 or 17 miles an hour, so 22 is fantastic. That's a good cruising speed for running around the neighborhood. If we were to put a lift kit on this cart and uh, some bigger, taller tires, we would probably easily get 24, 25. Um, everything did great um, as far as the batteries. I mean, listen, if you're on the fence about buying a new set of lead acids for your cart, I know this is, you know, probably $700 more if you were to get a good set of like Trojan or Interstate lead acid, but zero mess, super lightweight, more speed, more acceleration, never have to water them, zero maintenance. Um, save up a couple hundred extra bucks and do yourself a favor and get a lithium set up like this. And uh, hey, save even more with the coupon code uh, STEGI10 at checkout. And uh, this is going to be a great, great update for, uh, upgrade for any cart. So, And I just wanted to show you, um, like I said, I am making my own battery cables now. Um, I bought the equipment to do that. This is a two gauge. I bought the lugs. I bought the crimping tool and the heat shrink. Super easy to do. Cut to length, whatever size you need. So what I'm going to do um, more than likely is I'll change this. This one is um, the one I got from Marble Tech Cables, which is amazing. Don't get me wrong, but it's red. And uh, if I'm going to sell this card, I'll probably change this cable over to black just so we have a positive and a negative. So I'll make a cable for that. I'll order some lugs, like I said, and I'll shorten these guys up. Again, just personal preference, not anything necessary uh, to make it work and operate. As you just saw, we went 22 miles an hour down the road, so definitely doesn't affect the performance in any way. But like I said, just a personal uh, personal preference for me. So the only thing I'm probably not going to get to today is the battery gauge install. Uh, I've got to figure out where I'm going to put that. Probably right up in here. I have a new plate I'm going to put over the top of here, so I'll probably remove this factory easy go sticker put my American flag plate in put my battery indicator I'll cut a hole for that and then you literally just run the wire and plug it in so uh, not going to show you that on today's video but that's uh, something you can do at your own discretion you don't have to mount it under the dash you can literally stick it down in here if you want uh, but you literally have to open the seat every time to see where your battery level is so that's not ideal but uh, just be aware of that well that's it Pretty simple. Uh, we just did a uh, lithium install on this cart. It works amazing. I can't thank BigBattery.com enough for coming on board and helping us out. Uh, if you want to save 10%, remember to use the promo code STEGI10 at checkout. You're going to save 10%. And uh, this is awesome. This cart works and functions amazing uh, for what it was when we started. If you haven't watched the, the first episode, go back and check that out. Uh, it was basically on its way to the junkyard. So. Also, a reminder to check out my Facebook page. It's the same as the uh, YouTube channel, Cart Crazy. And uh, we do some behind the scenes things, some pictures, some updates on uh, things that uh, I struggle with, like parts and things like that. So check that out if you want, Cart Crazy on Facebook. Uh, really appreciate you coming along. Hit the like button, hit the share button, tell your friends. We'll see you next time on Cart Crazy.